Hi, uh, welcome to my first vlog and uh, ginawa ko tong vlog na to kasi marami yung nagtatanong sa akin kung anong gears na ginagamit ko for recording. So in this video, I'm going to show you and let's find out. Okay, so bago ko simulan, gusto ko lang sabihin na hindi ako sponsored ng kahit anong gamit or gears na ipapakita ko sa inyo. Uh, reference lang ito, baka gusto nyo gumawa ng home recording setup. And also, uh, to answer your questions about my gears. Basic insights lang ang gagawin ko, hindi ako mag in depth na review or something like that. Baka abutin tayo ng oras dito. <laughs> so maybe another video na lang. And let's start! Know your cables. So, may papakita ko sa inyo yung tatlong cables na most commonly used for recording. And the first one is the TS cable, aka guitar cable. TS ang tawag dito kasi tip and sleeve. Ayan. Or T is for positive, while S or sleeve for ground. So, kung bubuksan mo yan, may dalawang parts kang makikita. Sana klaro sa camera. Ayan. Sa taas na yan, Yan ang positive, while dyan sa ba is the ground. So, para malaman mo kung saan mo i-connect yung wire sa desired niya na port, yan, alam mo na. So, TS cable. Another thing, there's a cable called TRS cable. Uh, yan, nandyan sa picture. TRS cable means tip, ring, and sleeve. So, most commonly used siya for stereo applications. Pwede mo siyang ilagay sa processors, mixers. Uh, also, pwede naman sa guitar. Pero, may instances kasi na mag-proproduce siya ng unwanted noise. Which is, ayaw nyo. Ayaw nyo dun. Okay? So, ayun. TS cable and TRS. For the next one, is the XLR cable. Ayan. XLR means external line return. Ang ginawa itong cable na ito para makapagpasa or makapag-deliver ng clean signal at higher current. Itong cable na ito, ito yung ma-recommend ko na pang-connect nyo sa microphone nyo, sa interface nyo, or sa mixer. Kasi, mas malinis siya compared sa yung hybrid na XLR, tapos yung Dulo TS. So, maraming tone loss, maraming gain loss, and frequency loss. So, ito yung gamitin nyo, XLR. Sa audio equipments, ito rin yung pang-connect, example for equalizers sa mixer nyo. Although, sinabi ko kanina na pwede TRS, pero for standard purposes, XLR gamitin nyo. Okay? So, tip lang, if you want to connect your microphone to your interface, XLR gamitin nyo. So, para sa pangatlo and last natin na cable, this is the MIDI cable. Ayan. Sana klaro sa camera, no? So, this MIDI cable, ang purpose nito is para makonect mo yung MIDI controllers mo such as keyboards, electric drums, and Actually, marami pa. So, para makonect mo yung MIDI controllers mo sa audio interface, ito yung gamitin mo. Actually, MIDI controllers, malaki yung tulong niya para ma-manipulate mo yung MIDI applications mo na nasa digital audio workstation mo or DAW. So, malaki ang tulong nito sa music production. So, ayan. MIDI cable. Okay, so speaking of audio interface, this is my audio interface. The UMC 404 HD by Behringer. So, audio interface, basically, dito mo isasaksak yung inputs mo, whether it's microphone or instrument or other inputs, para matranslate niya yung acoustic signal into digital signal na mapupunta sa DO mo. UMC 404, may apat siya na inputs, and combo jack siya lahat. This is called a combo jack. Pwede mo isaksak dito yung XLR, TS, and TRS. Tapos may gain knob siya, may instrument to line switch siya. So, instrument, that means dito mo isasaksak yung directa na sa guitar, while line is for microphones. Tapos may pad din siya, ayan. Pad means uh, gain reduction at a certain level. So, most of advanced na audio interface may pad. And... Yan, mga settings na sa monitors. Yan, phone, headphones volume. Yan. Tapos sa likod naman. Yan. MIDI, in and out. So, dito mo yung sasaksak yung MIDI cable mo. And this is the phantom power switch. Ito yung switch para gumana yung condenser mo. 
kasi kailangan mo ng plus 48 volts sa microphone mo na condenser. Playback outputs, dito mo isasaksak yung monitors mo. While ito main out and insert. So, ito. UMC 404 HD by Behringer. Ayan. Okay, so microphones. Microphones yung madalas tinatanong sa akin kung ano doon yung ginagamit ko. So, may ipapakita ko sa inyo yung two kinds of microphones. And although, marami pa sana tayong pwedeng i-discuss na other types of microphones. Pero as far as home recording is concerned, you only need two mics or even one mic to get a decent sound. There are two kinds of microphones. First is the condenser microphone, which is yung ginagamit ko ngayon. And the second is dynamic microphone. For the condenser microphone, ito yung ginagamit ko. Spark by Blue Microphone. Pakita ko sa inyo. Ayan. So itong mic na ito, basically condenser microphones are very sensitive sa source. Source means vocals, instrument, or basically the words itself, source. So ang tendency ng condenser microphone, pag nasobrahan sa lakas yung source, tapos di mo naset yung gain, magkliklip siya, or other word distort or sa Tagalog basag na tunog or tunog na basag o tunog basag tunog basag yeah. for dynamic microphones ito yung ginagamit ko SM57 by Shure Microphones ayan so dynamic microphones better siya sa pag-capture ng malalakas na source just like drums instruments or especially if yung song mo malakas yung intensity whatever source that is, whatever instrument that is use dynamic microphone para di siya mag-clip although pwede naman siya sa vocals but you have to compensate it on the mix so maglagay ka ng boost or whatever that is to elevate that specific signal so ito, low gain malakas na source dynamic microphone gamitin mo okay? So, maraming preference when it comes to monitors. Uh, you can use a monitor speaker just like this one, or you can use a headphone monitors. So, ano ba yung monitors? Yung monitors, dyan mo naririnig yung input recording monitor mo, or yung playback nung record mo. So, very crucial kung anong monitors meron ka. For example, bass boosted yung monitors mo, akala mo, marami ng bass yung mix mo, which is not. So, wrong monitors may lead into imbalanced mix, which is... Ayaw nyo. Ayaw nyo din. Ayaw natin yun. So, standard when it comes to monitors, pag input monitor ka, or yung naririnig mo yung sarili mo habang tumutugtog ka, you use headphone monitors para di mag-bleed or mag-leak yung sound papunta sa mic mo. While, kung nagmi-mix ka naman, you use monitor speakers. Yan, para mas klaro. Pero, personally, I do when I record and I mix. Ito lang gamit ko. This is a CB1 by Status Audio. Yan. So flat response siya. Actually both of them are flat response. Ito naman ay isang Sterling Audio MX3. So pair ito siya, left and right. So yeah, flat response lang dalawa. So flat response lang dalawa. So hindi bass boosted hindi mid boosted, hindi high boosted. So, yeah, flat response lang. So, maybe ito yung ginagamit ko kasi nasanay na siguro. Because before I had a monitor speakers, ito yung ginagamit ko talaga on my records. So, yeah, personal choice lang. For instruments, uh, I have an amount of instruments kung nakikita niyo sa covers ko. Uh, Maybe because one factor is I really love guitars, you know, gas or gear acquisition syndrome, or nagpaparent din ako ng sound system for a living, so maybe that's a factor too. But tips lang or three tips when having instruments. First is wag mahiyang bumili ng second hand. Kung maganda naman yung instrument mo na nakita, bilin mo na. Uh, doesn't matter if doesn't matter if second hand siya, kung maganda naman, di ba? So, yeah, huwag mahiyang bumili ng second hand, maganda naman. Pero if gusto mo ng brand new, why not? Second is... Second tip is, maintain your instrument. So, whatever instrument you have, you have to take care of it. 
kahit anong main ka pa, drum main, guitar main, bass main, or whatever main you are, we don't discriminate here, uh, you have to take care of your instrument. Uh, marami naman sa YouTube mga basic maintenance. Uh, the importance of it kasi is uh, malaki yung tulong sa quality ng maintenance. So, uh, maintenance is a really big factor when it comes to home recording and also independent tayo because we do home recording hindi naman tayo sponsored so kung nasira yung gamit natin so sayang naman diba so yeah maintain your instrument the third tip is always keep your instrument in tune marami kasi akala nila pangit yung recording nila pangit yung gears nila pangit yung treatment ng room nila but actually it's just their instrument is not in tune so when you record always keep your instrument in tune malaking changes yun Ma, you can hear really the change when the instrument is tuned or not so yeah always keep your instrument in tune so thoughts lang guys you don't actually need expensive gears when you start home recording but if you do have one you have a head start or you have a good start just like any other crafts Budget gears doesn't mean good quality and expensive gears doesn't also mean good output. Recording kasi is all about learning, uh, time invested to practice, and to listen to other people, to get reference from them. Always have an open mind when you record and yeah, that's it. If you have questions, uh, just comment down below and also subscribe down below and click the bell button. Di wala masanyan. And yeah, just tell me what you want to know and I'll try to answer it. So I am Johannes Tohas and that's much about it. Bye!